How Horatius Kept the Bridge Lars Porsoner of Clusium, for the nine gods he swore that the great house of Tarquin should suffer wrong no more. For the nine gods he swore it, and named a trysting day, and bade his messengers ride forth, east and west and south and north, to summon his array. And now hath every city sent up her tale of men, the footer fourscore thousand, the horse a thousands ten. But by the yellow Tiber was tumult and affright, from all the spacious champaign to Rome men took their flight. Out spake the consul roundly, the bridge must straight go down, for since Janiculum is lost, naught else can save the town. Then out spake brave Horatius, the captain of the gate, To every man upon this earth death cometh soon or late. And how can man die better than facing fearful odds, For the ashes of his fathers and the temples of his gods? Hold down the bridge, Sir Consul, with all the speed ye may, I with two more to help me will hold the foe in play. In yon straight path a thousand may well be stopped by three, now who will stand on either hand and keep the bridge with me? Was none who would be foremost to lead such dire attack. Those behind cried forward, and those before cried back. But meanwhile axe and lever have manfully been plied, and now the bridge hangs tottering above the boiling tide. Come back, come back, Horatius, now cried the fathers all. Back Lartius, back Herminius, back ere the ruin fall. Back darted Spurius Latius, Herminia started back, and as they passed beneath their feet they felt the timbers crack. But when they turned their faces, and on the farther shore, saw brave Horatius stand alone, they would have crossed once more. But with a crash like thunder fell every loosened beam, and like a dam the mighty wreck lay right athwart the stream. O Tiber, father Tiber, to whom the Romans pray, a Roman's life, a Roman's arms, take thou in charge this day. So he spake, and speaking sheathed the good sword by his side, and with his harness on his back plunged headlong in the tide. And now he feels the bottom, now on dry earth he stands, now round him throng the fathers to press his gory hands. With weeping and with laughter still is the story told, how well Horatius kept the bridge in the brave days of old.